Hey y'all, so what did y'all think about the season premiere of Love and Marriage Huntsville? Are we liking it? What y'all feeling? What y'all thinking? Y'all tuning in? It gave what it needs to give? I think so. But I just want to talk about the most outrageous thing to me in the whole entire episode. And that is Marceau and Tisha. Um, Y'all know I haven't been married yet. <laughs> Put a yet on that. But why am I getting the vibe? that I don't know everything about marriage and all the rules and the ins and outs. So I don't want to speak about their marriage, but just using it as an example. I thought it was like some marriage rules that, you know, the two shall become one. So, you know, if you go on a trip, I'm going to go on a trip. If you go out the country, I'm going out the country. There is no alone time. <laughs> no, honestly, I do feel like it, it, it should be some alone time. You know, getting a break from the kids, uh, day-to-day kind of thing. But you can do that in the country. It's a new thing called stay vacations where, you know, you just go to a hotel up the street kind of thing. But for Marceau to leave the country, I don't know why I really didn't like that, nor did I think it was appropriate. I feel like that's something that we pe- we single people can do. We can get up and go. That's that's one of the beauties, the perks of being single is that you don't have to check in with anybody. You know what I mean? So the fact that he just got up and left to another country... Mm, kind of run me the wrong way and the fact that he was in another country not even another state but a whole country what if something happened not trying to think the worst or anything like that but what if she needed her husband for something urgent and he's all the way in another country he's not like a plane a two-hour plane ride away he could even went to Atlanta again infamous Atlanta no don't go to Atlanta Marceau but it's just kind of I don't know. Is that normal? Married people. Married people, y'all had to tell me. I know every relationship is different, but I did think that there were like some ground rules or whatever. Um, Because like I said, I feel like when I get married, have kids, all that jazz, I'm going to want some mommy a uh, wife alone time too i'm gonna want to go to the spa by myself. Y'all stay here. Y'all figure it out. Don't call me. Talk amongst yourself, okay? Um, I'm going to want to still go to the movies without the husband, the kids, just so I can have some debrief time. But notice, I'm saying activities that require me to stay in the state or in the same city, in the same town, right up the street most of the time. You know, so I just was just kind of like, whoa, he went to Africa. And like many people are saying, like something like that, going out of the country should be something that they should experience together. Like Marcel. Ain't no alone time like that for you anymore. When you said I do, you see, you see how you see these men sometimes they can be so traditional when it comes to things that benefit them. You know, that's the stuff I don't like. But when it's all things being equal, when a woman do it, it's, it's a problem. You know, it's no more girls trip for us and no more going down Miami. No more hot girl summer for us. Right. You expect us to be in the kitchen putting you know our things on the back burner and put the family on the front okay i got it so where was that same energy when it comes down to you marcel that's just what i want to know but like i said i feel like every marriage is different but i do feel like that was a little bit outrageous (laughs) for marcel to go out of the country by himself i mean even i i think would have been cool if even if he wanted to go maybe a few days before her and then like she joined him a few days after that i think that would be pretty cool i think that would still be okay because i do i am an introvert so i kind of do understand about having a long time so i get i get it but then i don't get it it's like the distance part and also you not wanting to be with your wife part I mean, we can go together and we just stay in separate rooms and we still have our date night. Like, cause I get it. I really feel like I'm the same kind of way too. Um, I want to have fun with my friends, family. (laughs) Yeah. 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 But then I do want to have my alone time away from y'all. I love y'all in my heart. Happy, happy, joy, joy. But I don't feel like being around y'all and seeing y'all all the time. I do need my mental space. That's how I recharge my solitude. So it's like, I get it. I do get it. But then again, I don't understand because they are married. That's the part I just kind of don't get. How long was he away? Did they say? I'm going to have to go back and watch it. Because was he there for like three days or something? Because maybe mm, we don't like it, but three days okay fine 
But if he was there for like a week or two, come on, now. come on, then Marcel. And it's crazy because I seen those pictures on his Instagram that he showed on the show. I thought he was in Huntsville. See, maybe I should have read the comments. I mean, the caption. Silly me. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, let me know what y'all think, especially married and people that are in relationship kind of talk. Is this norm? Can couples go out of the country um, for extended period of time? Solo dolo. Or is that a no-no? Ooh, look at me. Bars, rhyming, uh, um, rap game. Or sign me up. Here I am. Participant. Yes. Making a band part four. Here I am. I might audition, y'all. I may be on TV next year. Never know. Okay. And so what do y'all think about Destiny's music career? Now, I understand Mel does not have a, a monopoly on the music industry. I feel like, you know, just because she's singing, if somebody else on the show want to sing too, and that's their dream, their goal, their aspiration, there's nothing wrong with that. But isn't it funny? Like, I, I want to, like, maybe... Uh -uh. I don't know. How do y'all feel about that? Do y'all feel like she's trying to bite Melody? Or, you know, this is just something that she wanted to do. I just find the timing very coincidental. But nevertheless, here we are. And another thing, y'all. Do y'all feel like because Marceau and Kimmy were not together at the time of that infamous Atlanta picture that it was still considered cheating? Or he does he get a pass? My bad, y'all. I meant to say Kimmy and Maurice. You see how I said Marceau? Woo, child. Mm, let me get it right. Yes. Because, you know, a lot of people felt that way. A lot of people felt like, you know, Kimmy was just making an excuse that, um, hey, we weren't married, so it technically isn't cheating, although we were dating. But, you know, he, he really didn't do anything wrong. Um, What do I think about it? Dang, it is cheating, though. It is. It really is. Uh, you know, just... It is what it is. People can decide to keep moving forward and go through with a marriage, you know, because maybe people feel like that was a practice run before the real trial. I don't I don't know. You know how we do rationalize things in our mind to make them make sense and make them feel good for us. So I totally get it. No judgment, you know. What they say, a lot of times we turn stuff into sugar. It don't taste good. Well, we, we we sprinkle on some sugar and, and try to eat it. Or, you know, what we do, we put um, a costume over depression. You know, we look real cute and we put... But the we look real cute on the outside, but the inside is not really what it is. So we just make up things to make ourselves feel good on the inside. Whether it's like a lie or a truth or a half truth, we, we do that as humans, so... You know, I get it. Whatever. That's that's what Kimmy think, but I don't know. What do y'all think? Like, mm, do you think she was really making excuses for the fact that he Maurice may have cheated on that land trip or what? Um I do feel like and we talked about this before. I do feel like Mel wants um she wants the other relationships to be exposed, but I feel like she just can't do it. Um, I noticed that when you try to break people up, that's the more they want to fight to be together and stay together. So it's best just to keep your hands off of it and let the chips fall as they may. You know, you want people's decisions to be totally their decision. Not like not that you had any influence on it one way or the other. Or at least that's my opinion. I feel like that has served me well do what you want to do because you know how like we are as humans sometimes we are very hard-headed and nobody can tell us nothing so in these situations i feel like ain't nobody can tell them nothing ain't a cold slow uh this person or that person a martel a melody nobody is going to be able to tell the other couples anything it's up to them to find out or see on their own but hopefully it's nothing to find out or see you know move along nothing to see here that's what we hope for but nevertheless let me know what you guys think about this episode a b c d f like let me know anyway i will talk to you guys again soon bye